Okay, see Lindelof video. Solving systems of three equations. So we have three different variables here in three equations. This is not super tough, but there are two ways to do this. And I'm just going to show you the easiest way using the algebra program today. And then tomorrow evening, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to do the one using matrices. But this is one way that you can do this, which is really easy. So here are our three equations, if you don't mind. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my calculator and just start this work. So I'm going to try to solve these three equations. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Menu. I'm going to choose Algebra. From Algebra, I'm going to solve Systems. And then here um, it says solve systems of equations, solve systems of linear. It doesn't matter. I always use this one and it seems to work. So I just use this. We have three variables. So I'm going to put in three. As soon as you do that, it automatically gives you x, y, and z. And then if you remember what we had on the screen before, I'm going to use exactly the same thing. So negative x minus 5y minus 5z equals equals 2, right? I'm going to go to the next one. And I do have to make sure I use the same variables that they provide, x, y, and z. So 4x minus 5y, sorry you guys, I'm talking to you, sorry. 4z equals 19. The thing I figured out on this is that the only thing I ever screw up on this is making some really stupid mistakes, some entry mistakes. So I'm trying to take my time on this and I would encourage you to do the same thing equals negative 20 and then I'm just going to enter bang so I know that the system that I just gave you is not a very difficult system and you could probably do it through I don't know how I think you could easily do it through elimination but it doesn't matter how complex the system is this is exactly how I would do it so if you remember what we did we we went into the we went into the menu here right we chose algebra we chose systems, system of equations, and then we just put them in, keeping in mind that, that we use the same variables that they do and hit enter. I hope this is really helpful. It's a really quick video, but I think it will really increase your ability to use your calculator really effectively. So uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, would you please? Thanks. Appreciate it.